it like to be at the technical conference this year? Absolutely. Uh, this group of people uh, make a very significant contribution uh, to the development of our game, so it's good to be here. This group of people, very few people in the public actually know that they exist in a way, and because we all look at the international team, these guys are unseen. Ah, yes, there, there's uh, undoubtedly an element of that, um, and I think what's interesting about this group is they do cover the, the, the game literally from top to bottom. They work in small groups or individually with, with clubs, schools, uh, some underage teams. At the other end, you've got the academy managers and supplying players to professional game and everything in between. So that they're, until you pull them in together at, at, at a, an event like this, they're, they're kind of unseen, but their, their work is invaluable. It, it's important just to bring everybody together. Um, when we're looking at what's happening in, in uh, Irish rugby, um, the provinces are so strong and have their own identities. They have their own uh, schemes of work and, and areas of strengths and maybe areas that aren't so strong. So um, to do that within your own province takes good planning and good teamwork. To do that inside the whole of Ireland, we have to all come together and have an opportunity. The whole idea of being down here is that we're not being taught to, to read out of the book, uh, that we are being challenged to uh, question ourselves and question our staff, question our capabilities and how can we improve our capabilities. I've been involved with the union for about six years and it's great to see all the different stages from one to five for a day and a half um, and we're all here for the right reasons because of developing the game. It's, it's important that the people in stage one know what the people are doing in stage five because everybody ha plays their part in the player. So when a player starts in minis and when he becomes a professional, everybody has the, their role to play. I think it's great that you meet, um, first of all, the people doing the same role as you in different provinces. There's good information sharing going on between the different uh, caddy managers anyway. But then you meet the full technical staff, you see, you see the range of issues. The, the different stages of rugby all affect my level of rugby. So stage one, stage two, stage three quality of players coming out from those levels affect the, the standard of the academy so it's great that we're all together talking about issues and dealing with any problems that we see. The full range of staff is here from community development to coach development to elite player development officers and academy managers so any issue that's popping up in a game of rugby that could, is affecting different stages we're able to address it here and, and among the four provinces not just in-house in one province. So. so do you deal directly with players or do you deal with coaches? Uh, I'm from Connacht, so, so kind of a bit of both really. Um, we're small enough in terms of that regard, but um, you can't affect change in one without affecting change in the other. So it's it's a case of it's an ever evolving process that uh, that we're all continuously looking at to try and make things better and improve it. Um, and you're going to have to tweak it occasionally just to just to get the the right right results. So you're sitting in the middle in there splitting up Ulster and, and Leinster at the minute here? Yeah? Trying to, trying to at the moment, but we kind of got in on the back of that, so I'm not too, uh, too disappointed, to be honest. Great stuff. Well, congratulations and thanks a lot.